Man, this picture can't help left. Do you have a coach again? So the old timers held on, hoping they'd make it rich, but it never did happen. And there was others like old, like old Butch and Sundance here. They started stealing and robbing. The only way they could make it. What? Well, here comes my daughter Annie. My daughter Annie now she poor little kid. Woo, never woo, did woo. Get a man. <laughs> never did get a man and she never did get over it either. <laughs> Tell them about it, Annie. <laughs> 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 oh, my mother was frightened by a shotgun, they say. That's why I'm such a wonderful shot. I'd be out in the cactus and I'd practice all day. So now tell me what have I got? I'm quick on the trigger with targets not much bigger than a pinpoint. I'm number one. But my score is lower than a sailor Oh, you can't get a man with a gun If I went to battle with someone third a cattle You'd have to take when the job was done But if I shot the herder They'd holler bloody murder Oh, you can't get a man with a gun With a gun Crystal, you'd have steak when the job was done. <laughs> but if I shot the herder, they'd holler bloody murder. Oh, you can't shoot a male in the tail like a quail. Oh, you can't get a man with a gun. Woo! Yes, sir. Now, as I was saying, I remember the day that old Butch here and Sundance robbed a train just as it was a leaving Dry Gulch heading for San Francisco. Sheriff caught him fair and square, but they never did recover the gold. Now, some say that gold is still here, buried in gulch. That's why some of the old-time ghosts are still hanging around like old Woodcock over here. I work for E.H. Harriman, and any gold found around here belongs to the Union Pacific Railroad, and right where it belongs to Mr. Harriman. Your know, Woodcock's a good old boy, but he gets carried away sometimes. Now, listen here. Here's what happened. They put old Butch and Sundance away, all right, but they couldn't keep him in them bars for very long, and they were set free. It wasn't too long before they was on their own, and things kind of calmed down. Things were peaceful around here for a while, and then... It happened one summer evening. You see for yourself. I was watching old Butch at Sundance play cards when they came into town. Those two bombers came walking right into my town. I tell you, Slim, this is it. The town of Dry Gulch. I tell you, this is where 150 years ago, Butch and Sundance, they buried the gold here after that train robbery I was telling you before. See, I found the map, and the map said, after we robbed the train, we buried the gold under the floorboards for the Dry Gold Saloon. See, there it is. The Dry Gold Saloon, floorboards, here's under the floorboards. Come on, we gotta get to digging so we can get that gold. <laughs> hey, 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 hold it there, boys, hold it. Hold everything, you see? That there's my gold. I done stole it fair and square. Yep. You ain't paying much attention. Sundance, tell him who's the man. You say what? <laughs> Wait, did you knock over that chair, you clumsy idiot? No way, Hank. You know, I was right here with you. It's a ghost. Oh, what? There ain't no such thing as ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. This place has been deserted for 150 years. 
Nobody lives here anymore. It's the nobodies of the theater. What I can see, I can fight. What I can't see, I'm running from. Now hold on there, boys. I got to inform you as the owner and proprietor and the mayor of Dry Gulf that you're digging under my saloon. And anything that you find on or under this saloon belongs to the owner, which is namely me. I work for E.H. Herman, and any gold around here belongs to Union Pacific Railroad. All right, Woodcock, you're a good old boy, but listen, this we can't get these boys' attention. They can't hear us. We need to get the sheriff in here. Sheriff! Sheriff! Get on over here, Sheriff! <laughs> Well, Sheriff, what you couldn't find, these two idiots, I found! Namely, my gold. You see, Sheriff, the one who buries the gold owns the gold. Your gold? I pushed you away once, but I reckon I can put you away twice. Now, uh, Sheriff, uh, damn, don't call the gold, Sheriff. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Mayor, uh, what are they doing? Listen here, Sheriff. These two city slickers done come into my town and start digging under my saloon. Now, Sheriff, you the man. You the man, Mayor. Well, you're right, I am the man. But you are the Sheriff. Oh, now, the I sheriff. demand that you arrest these boys for trespassing, for vandalizing private property, and for disturbing the peace, etc. Everything you say, Mayor. All right, boys, this is Billy Bill here, and I'm taking you fellas in dead or alive. Uh, they can't hear you, Sheriff. <laughs> You're dead. I know that. Hey, Mayor, what are they digging for? Well, they're digging for that gold that Butch and Sundance buried, the one they stole back in 1850. But I want to tell you about due process of law. When it is found, it belongs to the city of Dragos and me, the mayor. <laughs> Railroad and rightfully belongs to all this stock. Now, Woodcock, you got to stop saying that, son. You got to stop saying that. I control this town. I control the government, the people, the domestic animals, the little vomits, even the gold, everything. Now, listen, Sheriff, you got to arrest them all. I want you to arrest this idiot Woodcock and uh, Foot and the Sundance Kid there. All right, I'm going to arrest everyone. Uh, did you say Sunday, Mayor? Yeah. I don't got no Sunday. quarrel with Sunday. He's got to ask us to stay. Then we will. <laughs> well, you can ask us to stay, can't you, Sheriff? Well, maybe you fellas should just like to stick around. <laughs> now, that not the plan, Sheriff. You got to arrest them. Arrest them all. That's right, Mayor. I am a sheriff of Dry Gulch, and by golly, I'm gonna take you in right now. M uh, Deputy, you read them there, right? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to be searched and seized. You have the right to be tarred and feathered. You have the right to be. <laughs> You, you have the right to be thrown into the dungeon without no middle. You have the right to be burned in that hell and honey poured down your throat. And your arms and your ears. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Butch, I'm calling you out. You eat that hog leg out there and throw her in the dirt. Or I'm gonna take you down like the mangy yellow dog you are. Yeah. Well, Sheriff, you ain't nothing but the mouth licking law dog. I ain't no laugh licking, you know, I'm a mouth licking law dog. And no one's gonna talk to me that way. Well, you I damn killed you, Pete. I shot you. Did me, I killed dead. you. But I killed oh, you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spooked. Yeah, let's get, I'm coming to believe it. Come on, let's go. Whoa, we're all a fat and of getting away with the gold. The way I see it is, we take care of them now. That's right, and Jim. We've got to do something. All right, fellas, you drop them shovels right now. They ain't moving. 
They can't uh, hear you, Sheriff. You're invincible to them. <laughs> That's invisible, you fool. But you're on to something there. It's as plain as the nose on our faces. We're ghosts. We can scare them out of town. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that ain't working. That's the way you do it. it. Money for nothing and the gold's for free. <laughs> hey, hey, I got it. What's that? You know what? We can't get them, but they can get each other. How's that? A woman. A woman oh, is what always stops the men of fight. Oh, a woman. A woman is what we need. But where are we going to find a woman? I got a woman. I got this Wait a minute. And where are we going to find a dead one at that? I got a dead one. What? I got a my little Rosie. Oh, oh she, she ain't no woman. woman. <laughs> she, 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 she ain't, ain't no true. woman. You say your lackey down that second hand store and get my Rosie up here now. Go ahead down there and fetch you. Oh, Rosie! Yeah, Rosie, listen here. You see these two farmers that come into my town and they're stealing the gold that rightly belongs to the town folk of Drago. You got to stop them because they're stealing our gold. You want me to kill them? No, they're stealing the, town, the gold that belongs to the people of Drago. Okay. But... You mean you, huh? <laughs> you mean my gold. You mean the hole in the wall game gold. Yeah. You mean the railroad gold. No, you mean uh, the sheriff's uh, cost of living increase is what we need. Uh, Rosie, get, get on down there and distract them while we get the gold. Man, red-butted man, cold-butted man, it don't matter to me. Why, in my day, I was known as the goddess of the West. Why, I drew more men than flies and bees to honey. More like flies to cow pies. <laughs> yes, you have she never there. had a day in her life. She sure ain't going to get one now. She's dead. Just you watch. They be climbing all over me. You watch. Oh, just that secondhand store junk down the streets on you. Mother thought. had a business strictly secondhand. Everything from toothpicks <laughs> to a baby grand. <laughs> Stuff in our apartment Came from daddy's store Even clothes I'm wearing Someone wore before No wonder that I feel so abused I never had a thing that ain't been used They call That's why they call me a second-hand rose Even a piano in the pool Daddy bought for one dime on the dollar Second-hand clothes, I'm wearing second-hand clothes I never had a thing that ain't been used. Even Jake the blacksmith, he's the man I adore. He had the nerve to tell me he's been married before. Everyone knows that I'm just second hand rose from second. You come up and see me sometime. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Daddy? Daddy? They ain't paying no attention to me and my good looks. Daddy, get over here and do something. I'm starting to see something. What's that? Hello? Well, Hello, well, you big strong like laughing lad. A woman? Yeah, I'd seen a woman for a long time, my bad. No, huh? it looks like it's wearing a dress like a woman, but... <laughs> It don't smell like a woman. Daddy! Oh, she flies like a woman. I hit something. 
something. I found something. Hey, hey, hey hold it there, you fuck. Stop there, you fuck. Stop gold. I'm in space. Hey, hey. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute! Hey, this gold's getting heavy! Getting heavy? Hey, boys! You surrendered that gold to the property of Corey in this case. Well, that'll be me. Or you fellas can transfer the funds into a money market account that's insured by the Federal Reserve in my name. Hey, Rosie, I'm gonna be rich, man. Who cares? Oh, what about me? Possessed. What about love and marriage going together like a horse and carriage? <laughs> Daddy, forget about the gold and think about your own flesh and blood. That's right. That's right, Daddy. Do something. Shoot him. Oh, gold is possessed. Let's get out of here. I'm out. I ain't worried the gold, my ear. Why, well, don't make no difference. We got the gold. Who's gold, Mayor? Well, listen, we got the gold, and this is gonna be your last chance, baby. Oh, that was my last chance. I'll never get me a man. Hey, Rosie just hit it on there. Last chance. Well, I see. I'm gonna remodel this saloon with that gold right there, and we're gonna call it the Last Chance Saloon. That was a good idea, Rosie. Thanks. With what gold, Mayor? Well, actually, Butch, I wasn't talking about this gold right here. See, I was talking about the gold in my teeth. <laughs> what teeth, Mayor? Well, actually, Butch, I wasn't talking about the gold. Look, Butch! Woodcock's hey, getting hey, away hey, with hey, the gold! Hey, Woodcock, good buddy. Why don't you and I just go ahead and split that gold right down the middle? 60, 40. 60 for who and 40 for who? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> 60 for who and 40 for who? <laughs> I think what it means is 60, 60 for Butch and 40, 40 for, for you. you. That's what it means. Well, that's mighty kind of you there, Woodcock. It's mighty nice. Well, actually, I've been a thinking. See, it's a high time because the railroad. They don't need the gold. No, no, no. no they See, don't need it. I don't need the gold. No, you you don't. Don't. See, and Toothless Mayor, he ain't got enough teeth to need the gold. Oh, he no, don't need no. it. It's about time we start thinking of higher things oh, like higher things. Yeah, higher, yeah. higher things like peace. Yeah. Oh, peace. Goodwill. Oh, yeah. Goodwill. Yeah. And brotherly love. Brotherly oh, love. love. I love you, man. I really love you. You ain't getting my gold. <laughs> She's right, though. I, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, now, uh, what are we uh, doing hanging around this place anyway? <laughs> you know, there comes a time when every man's going into the light. Oh, wait, oh, to, to go light. on yeah, to the better thing. I was in the pit. Oh, wait, 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 but now I see the light. Oh, see the light. So <laughs> it's up to us. You and me oh, yeah. to stick together and love it instead. Oh, that's good. And to make a difference. Oh, it's yeah. gonna make a difference. I think you're right there, Deputy. You know, we've been a fighting betwixt one another all through our living days. It seems a shame to carry it on now that we're dead. I think that's a good idea. Where's Butch? 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 I love you, man. I love you. But you ain't getting my gold, Cheryl. I love you all. Oh, I love you. 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 Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Ho, ho. You even side one and farming. Look at that. He's just sneak. Getting off with the gold. <laughs> Just to sneak. Getting off with the gold. And after all that talk about loving and stuff. <laughs> Got to do something, Sheriff. Stop him. Do it, Sheriff. Give him the word. Oh, the word. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> now you gone too far, Sheriff. <laughs>